Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I want to talk about dating in a feminine way. And if you have a goal to get married, how to do that in the most feminine energy way. If you're interested in a video like that, please keep watching. talk about dating in a feminine way now I was having a conversation with my partner last night and I thought this would make a great video because having a goal to get married having goals really is a masculine thing and so oftentimes when we have goals we try to achieve these goals in a masculine way because it's a goal we're trying to achieve it and so getting married and having the goal of getting married can be a hard thing to achieve in a feminine way. And so I wanted to share um, how I was able to do that and how to do it in a feminine way, a fun way, and a way where you can still achieve your goals, but you feminize it. Like, you know, spice up your life, you feminize your life, sort of something like that. No, not really. I think it works I think it works but yeah that's what I want to talk about in this video so like I said having a goal having goals is more of a masculine thing trying to achieve it now one thing that I've seen especially when it comes to dating is that you know women will have a goal of wanting to be married but they will try to achieve the goal of wanting to be married in a masculine way and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want but if you're trying to attract a more masculine type of man achieving that goal of getting married in a masculine way will probably attract a more feminine guy so how do we achieve this goal of getting married in the most feminine way and honestly the most fun way in my opinion so Again, we're going to do a more casual type video. I have my drink. This is a collagen. It's got collagen in it. You know, it's got collagen in it. So, you know, when I was dating, I did it like it was my job because I really had a goal of wanting to get married. But I also knew that I wanted to have a certain dynamic when it came to my relationship and partnership. I wanted to be more my feminine. I wanted to have a relationship where he embraced his masculine and I could embrace my feminine energy and be more in my feminine and embrace my femininity. So the thing is, it's like, okay, the goal is to get married and how do you achieve it in the fastest way possible? <laughs> And doing it in the fastest way possible, honestly, is a more masculine way to do it. But, you know, like I said, oftentimes having a goal, a goal is masculine. We try to achieve that goal in a masculine way. So let's talk about what that looks like, what the masculine way looks like. So the masculine way when it comes to trying to achieve the goal of marriage when dating is interviewing the guy on the date. Yes, you have a criteria, you have criteria, which is nothing wrong with that, but you're interviewing him like it's a job and that is more of a masculine way to go about your goal of getting married. And another thing that I did want to mention and that I see a lot is that a lot of women would often, will often discount men knowing that, oh, they don't fit some sort of criteria and say no to a date. That to me is a more masculine way of going about it. You are in your head, you're thinking, okay, he's not going to meet this. But if you're more open, if you're open about it and you're coming from a place of having fun and honestly, it's all feedback. It's all feedback about you. It's all feedback about the guy that you're, that you are desiring and that you're seeking. So it's all feedback. And if you, you loosen up a little bit, and just be open to what comes into your experience, 
you know, being open and not discounting dates and discounting men is to me the more feminine way to go about it. Now, also, I will say you might have an idea of what you want and you might have discounted the guy, but then if you're open to it and you actually go on a date with him, you might realize, wow, this is an amazing guy and realize some attributes in him or him that really fits the bill for you. Um, sometimes we go about dating and trying to get a relationship based off something that we think is going to make us feel good. And sometimes it doesn't always work out. When you explore, if you come from a place of play and being open to the possibilities, you never know. So being open and not discounting men, is it discounting men? I think that's the word that I, that I need to use here. But like not discounting men is more of a feminine approach when it comes to dating. Now I know a lot of people are not gonna like that because they're gonna be like, I don't wanna waste my time. Um, or, you know, I just know that that's not the right person. But honestly, I think that is just the best way to go about it, especially in a feminine way. Like being open, being receptive to life, engaging with life, whatever is in front of you. If a guy asks you out, if he's not creepy, if he's not creepy, let's make, make, make that clear. If he's not creepy or anything like that, just being open and then, and being open to the possibilities. You know, you never know what you might find attractive in a guy if you're not open to it. And that was another thing that I learned is that, wow, like, I thought I would never be open to something like that. And it really fits my life. And just being open is a really, really feminine approach to dating. Another thing I want to talk about, um, you know, being goal oriented is, like I said, is a masculine thing. So when you have marriage at the forefront of your mind, the man will feel that energy. <laughs> so don't go into a dating, um, a date with marriage at the forefront of your mind. A man can feel it. Men can feel that desperation, that energy. They can feel it. And so if you go, if you come from a place, and I, and I go back, if you come from a place of like curiosity, play, I get to have a lovely dinner and engage with a lovely man, that kind of place, your whole experience will be different. Your whole experience will be different. And it might not lead anywhere, but you still had a good time. And it's not a waste of time. So people think that, oh, I don't wanna go out on a date with him because I don't wanna waste my time, but it's not a waste of time if you come from a feminine, um, a feminine place and embrace your femininity and just enjoy the date. It's never a waste of time. It's all feedback. It's, it's all feedback on yourself and how you engage with the date on men as well. You learning what you really truly desire in a man. You can't do that if you're not dating. So getting that feedback is really, really important, especially when it comes to manifesting the man of your dreams. And I'll tell you one thing. And I'll tell you one thing. When I was dating, I was open to mostly everything. <laughs> and as you become comfortable, once you, because one, one thing that I've, I've seen is that if there's a man that's of a certain caliber, a, a certain social, socioeconomic status, a lot of women will, will feel insecure and not even go on a date with him. And that might be someone that would be a great fit for your life. And engaging with men, you build confidence. You build confidence. And so going on a lot of dates is a really great way to build confidence and really take advantage 
of great guys that you might have discounted or kind of discounted yourself for that guy, if that makes sense. A lot of times you will feel insecure. I know that I felt insecure when going on dates with guys of certain status and stature until I became good at it and I got confident and it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal. And I think that, again, it's all feedback. It's all practice. And so get a roster. <laughs> do rotational dating and date multiple guys in one week. Because <laughs> I know when I was doing it, I was super busy. It was like every day of the week, you could do it. You can do it. Um, it might be a little crazy to handle. So do what you can manage. But um, like I said, it's all feedback. And as I dated more and I got better, I got more confident. I also learned about what it is that I truly desired. Like sometimes you might feel like, okay, I want this kind of guy. And then you date that kind of guy and you're like, I don't know. I don't know if that fits well with my personality. You know, these kind of things, like it's all feedback. You have to look at it um, you have to come from a place of curiosity, a, a place of play and have fun. And I see these things on the internet where people are like, dating nowadays is so terrible and like, I hate dating and stuff like that. And I'm like, I had so much fun. Like you get to go out and get dressed up and have great conversations and over a lovely dinner I mean it's a it's fun it is fun it it's fun I don't honestly see how people are like it's terrible like did we did I have a connection every single date no of course not you're not gonna vibe with every person you meet but if you come from a place of like I'm getting to know you it's never going to be a bad date well girl I, I was talking too fast. It might be a bad date. It might be a bad date. But again, if you come from a place of play, then you can laugh at it. Because there's <laughs> there are a few that I can laugh at. And it's not that I feel like I wasted my time. It's not like I felt like, oh my gosh, like I just like laugh at it. It's fun. It's like, you know, it's not a big deal. It is not a big deal. That's the biggest point that I want to drive home in this video is that don't take it so serious. That is a masculine approach to dating, taking it really serious. If you come from a place of play, curiosity, and just having fun, that is more of a feminine approach and you will do amazingly well. You would do amazingly well if you come from a feminine approach and you will see success quickly quickly, especially if you have a roster going. And you and I say all the time on the channel, the importance of having a roster and rotational dating. Um, so I want to, I just wanted to have like a casual chit chat about if you have a goal of getting married and what is the most feminine way to date to get married and, the, and just your energy and your mindset and coming from a feminine approach, it's going to catapult you on that path of marriage if that's what you want and again goals are a masculine thing yes but you don't have to approach it in a masculine way <laughs> interviewing and taking it so serious and emasculating and leading with things that you shouldn't be leading with like things that don't matter <laughs> that are not about you that things that are outside of you because feminine is inside of you. I'm gonna say that again. Things that are outside of you are masculine. Things that are inside of you are feminine. So lead with those things that you're nurturing, compassion, the passions that you have. Talk about those kind of things. Things that make you feel really good inside. Those kind of things. 
you will see success. So I'm trying to, I'm looking at my notes and I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I want to add to this. Um, you know, I think that, and so I hope this helps. This is a way to feminize your goal, feminize your life, feminize your goal of getting married. Because oftentimes, like I said, people attack the goal of getting married in a masculine way. And if a masculine man is what you seek, then that's going to be hard for you. Also, we have Manifesting Me Basic tomorrow. I will be doing that workshop. I'm so excited for it. I'm excited to share these systematic steps that really have transformed my life. Now I've shared on my channel several times how, how I was able to transform my life. And it was using these systematic steps and it transformed my life in less than a year. I was a single mom without a home. I had ran off to the mountains because your girl was having a tough time. And I was able to transform my life, bought my dream home with my partner. And we're here as a family and my life looks completely different. And all because of manifesting made basic AF not gonna cuss and yeah so I'm doing that workshop tomorrow so if you're not signed up I'm going to leave the link below for that super excited for that what else also we might be doing a meetup in Breckenridge Colorado in May so if you're interested in that let me know leave a comment below or email me so like I said you can definitely achieve goals you just got to feminize it feminize it and once you feminize it once you feminize your goal things will come so much easier for you things will come quicker and easier for you just feminize it girlfriend feminize it so that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you haven't already i invite you to subscribe to my channel i like to talk about manifesting feminine energy parallel realities all of that jazz so if you like that kind of thing i think you'll like it here um so yeah that's all for this video and i will check you guys in the next video peace